Jesus. This is so scary. Like, uh. <laughs> like, you can, like, absolutely manipulate everything, and his eyeballs just stay there. Oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> okay, we're done there. Okay, guys, welcome back. Jlink97 here. Welcome you guys back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last part, we did Snowman's Land. And in this episode, we are going to go and do uh, one of my least favorite worlds. This one right here. I think we're going to try to go down. Shocking arrow lifts. Okay, so... As you jump in at different heights in the... Oh my god. As you jump... In, um... Okay. So, if you jump in the painting, the water is at different lengths. Okay, so you have to be really careful with these guys, because they can kill you. Ah. If you're not thrown up there, they'll kill you, so... I would suggest not getting killed. Oh, come on. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to get really pissed off in this video already. I seriously hate... Oh, my TV is way too loud. Okay. I'm going to do this a little differently. Okay, so this is a way, so you only have to deal with this guy once. Okay, so, oh shit. Actually, to be honest, I don't even know what, oh come on, stop. So this guy will throw you, and he just thinks it's absolutely funny. So this is what you do. Okay, it would be absolutely lovely if I could just... Okay, I don't even know if this is the right star, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get this star anyway. Okay, so. Oh, I guess that's not the right one. That is the top of the town. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna give it over to Chris, so I will see you guys on my next star. Hello guys, Chris here, and we're gonna get started on the the Shonky Narrow Lifts. So we're gonna start off here with a high jump into the painting, just to make things easier on us on the beginning. Because generally, a higher water level is better. Because it's more, more area to get recover health. Now, I'm not sure exactly which star is the Shonky Narrow Lips, but for now, let's just talk to the bomb bomb. The bomb bomb. And he'll get the cannons nice and ready. Alright, so. I believe that is it over there, actually. And if not, then so be it. Let's just get one of these water switches here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. Just gotta go a little faster here. Just drain the water completely. Okay, then we just uh, headbutt head first with the block. Because that's what we do. And then we want a wall kick. Okay, that's not how you wall kick. Wait, what am I doing? This is just easier if I raise the water level again. I am doing something that's totally unnecessary. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'll raise the water a little bit. Now, finding the rest of the water switches. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. I think that's good enough. If not, then we'll have to find the next one. Yeah, that's definitely not enough. Um, okay. I think I'm just better off racing it all the way. Do something completely unrelated. Oh, okay. Just on the water switch right there. I'll take it. Alright, then we just gotta swim all the way up. And we need to find another one. Yeah, this is one of the more tedious courses. There is a lot of strategizing involved. I think this is actually the highest. So, I'm not exactly sure here what to do. Draining the water down a notch would help. Mm -hmm. 
just happened. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what's going on now. So let's just do the elevator thing one more time here. Alright. Unfortunately, we will have to mess with these guys. Uh, come on now. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Appreciate the enthusiasm, but that's not what I want. Okay. Just got it. Alright, and then we just take the elevator up, and here is star number two. Alright, so that was a different star. Still don't know what the shocking lifts or whatever. But we'll leave that to Jesse to get on his next star. Okay, guys, I am back. And we are going to try to find another star. Shocking arrow lifts. Shocking arrow lifts. I actually know what the shocking arrow lifts are. I think. I said that last time. Okay. So... Okay, so shocking, an arrow. So this guy. Alright. And I'm thinking that was the shocking arrow lifts one. I'm really hoping. Because if it is... Yes, it is! Oh my god, we actually got it. Okay, so... Chris will go on to his next star, and I will see you guys on my next one. Hello guys, welcome back. Chris here, and we will be doing Secrets in the Shallows and Sky. So... Yeah, so we'll have to be finding uh, different boxes and whatnot with the, with the magical numbers. I mean, I sound like a rambling old person, but... Eh. <laughs> Homeless mumbling. Eh, yeah, there's not numbers and boxes. Spitting out the coins. Yeah, there's one right there. Which we can get with some finesse. Oh. I think that was it. Oh, 
Okay, so the first one I know for sure is just up here. Yep, there's number one. There's another box over here. Nope. Not this time, Mr. Windup guy. Alright, box number two. Awesome. Made that worse. Alright. There we go. Well, let's just avoid that guy. I don't remember there being any boxes up there, so. Oh, we'll just take a dive down to the bottom. Let's just drain the whole place, why not? Okay. And stomp his face. Stomp his face. Oh, and there's probably one right there. Yep, sure enough. Yeah. There's another one right there. Okay, moving along. Alright, that was the last one. And the star's right there. Alright, so... I'll barely raise the water level. I just gotta go up here, raise it up again. The usual routine. Let's go up here, and we got the star. Alright. So we're moving along nicely with the uh, wet dry land. But that will be all for this video. So, until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.